up guys Dustin you here back with some more NHL 13 be a GM mode number two and um, so we're at the training camp I guess training camp preseason um, this is our fifth year at the helm of the Edmonton Oilers we have three years left um, then they want 41 wins okay so in the offseason we drafted an 83 defenseman an 82 forward and then we had to trade Malcolm Subban, we had to trade McKinnon because we couldn't re-sign them, we had no cap space. Um, and we had to trade our captain Jordan Everly, which, you know, was a little bit disappointing. I didn't want to, I did not want to trade him at all. But it had to be done, sadly. And um, we traded, or we, no, we didn't re-sign Mar Marinson, so we didn't re-sign Marinson. Um, but like our D, our D core is good. Our forward core should be good. My plan was to keep Ovechkin on the first line and just to rotate the two centers and the two right wings. And then I'm going to rotate the third and second line left wings. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much my plan of attack. So, um, um, ba -ba -ba so we're going to name a new captain this episode. And not Doig. I think it is time for Ryan Murray to be captain for our team. Ryan Murray. Why can't I pick him? Okay, there we go. Ryan Murray is going to be our new captain. Um, Nuge is going to be an assistant. And, I th yeah, I think I'm going to keep Ovechkin an assistant, I think. Nuge has proven himself. Ovechkin has proven himself, obviously. And Murray... He's been around for a while with us. Uh, I've kept him ever since uh, I traded for him at the very start of the Vancouver's part of the GM mode back in year one. So I'm going to keep him as our captain, Nuge and Ovechkin. Uh, I'm going to, I think I'm going to change some lines. Ackerman, that's, or the numbers. Ackerman, that's not bad. Boardson, 60. Nah, I don't like that. Let's make him 61. That looks nice. Doherty, 34. I'm going to change him to, like, 14. Uh, Doig, 89, looks good. Carlson, that's a normal number. Kumalainen, uh, he shouldn't be on our team right now. I think I need to switch around some of the players still. Yandel, Kirk Yandel, that's a terrible number. A 98 for a defenseman. <coughs> <coughs> oh, jeez. Um, I think I'm going to give him... Maybe 18. Yeah, 18 looks pretty good. There we go. Um, so, yeah, we got to sort out our lines, obviously. Got to sort out the lines and get it all together. Because we have... I don't know why some players are all over the place, but... So, our two rookies are going to be playing. Um, and I'm not 100% sure what else I'm going to be doing with the team right now. Just because it's all kind of all over the place. I'm going to, obviously, last episode was really long. It was like over 50 minutes. Um, I don't want to do that again. Actually, first I'm going to do scouting. We'll just start off the scouting here. Uh, goalies, forwards, we'll go, we'll start off in the dub. The dub's always a solid choice. Yeah, we'll start off in the dub. Okay, we'll do that. Roster moves. We can actually take a good look at our depth now. Uh, John Quick is playing up. I think that's it. Yeah. Do I need some more players in the HL? I don't even know. Okay. Tolpenko down. Kumalainen down. Oh, what? Am I missing a player here? Um... I thought I had Korpakoski. What? what? Okay, one sec here. Vechkin, New Yakupov. That's not going to be the first line. Uh, Doherty is going to be on the first line. Gauntz is going to be up here. Doig is going to start here. Ackerman is going to be on the left as well. We're going to rotate these two guys. Um, John Quick. We need. He's gonna be on that line. 
Korpakowski is actually not bad for a center for this line, so I might keep him there. Um, our fourth line is going to be a bit weak, I think. Do we have anybody else? I thought we had. I thought we had someone else here. Hmm. I don't really have a center for our fourth line. Yeah, we're. I think I need to trade for a center. Kumalainen, I think I'm gonna. I, yeah, I'm just gonna try and get a, another center there. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna best lines it right now. Best lines it. Uh, okay, let's, so let's reset this. Doherty will go there. Yakupov will be on the right. Quick. Here, Gons will be up here. Uh, Doig, go there. Ackerman will go there, like that. Okay, so we'll go like we'll run with that right now. Murray, Carlson, Subban, Pollock, Lundmark, Yandel. These guys, I uh, I'm not sure what to do about that. Um, Pollock, Carlson, two-way offensive, two-way offensive. That's like the best setup, literally. The only thing I'm afraid of is that these guys will get worse. Like, uh, hopefully they don't. Maybe I can rotate our, I'll rotate our third and fourth D pairings, maybe. I think that would be a good idea. Yeah, we'll rotate these guys. Uh, power play of Echkin, Nuji, Akapov. We'll put Doherty up there. Gauntz will go in the middle. Like that. I trust the computer on that stuff. Palazes, Poulin. Okay, that looks good. Best lines. Down there. We're going to have a pretty solid AHL team, I think. Morrissey. Uh, that looks pretty good, I think. And then hopefully, you know, Fitzgerald's got to start. Hopefully Fitzgerald can jump up. He's getting there. He's in his third year, so, you know what, hopefully, hopefully he can bump up. Um, okay, so we need a fourth, another fourth liner. That is the big thing right now. So we need a fourth line center or a third line center. Um... That's the only thing. Okay, so we need a fourth line or a third line center right now. Uh, let's go to free agency. I don't think we have that much cap space. 1.4 million, yeah. Uh, there's literally no one here. Okay. So we're going to have to trade for a fourth line center, I think. Contracts. Uh, I want a center... Doesn't really matter. Maybe a younger guy. Yeah, let's go for a younger player. Let's go by... Yeah, let's do it by age, and then I'll see what there is. Uh, ooh, Sam Reinhardt. No, <laughs> he's too good. Uh, Galchiniak, no, he's too good. I'd like a four and a half star player that's like 79, 80 that can play fourth or third line. Um, um, bum, 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 bum. I guess I could settle with a four star but I'd rather not wow McKinnon's gonna be like St. Louis's top guy oh yeah that's kind of embarrassing um Stamkos Washington doesn't have anybody they're all old too man there's nobody Monaghan Surprised he didn't get better. Tyler Sagan, that's old. Hodgson. How good is Hodgson? Is he a second line? Third line check me. He's got a terrible face-off rating though. It's not good. 
I want someone with a good face-off rating. Shoot. Okay. Max Reinhardt. He's kind of older, but his yes, face-offs aren't good. Why is there nobody with a good face-off rating? I don't understand. Uh, what the hell? I need an 80 with a solid face-off rating. Wait, what's... Did, uh... Oh, did Jared Stahl retire? I wonder if he did. Yeah, he must have. Unless he's in... No, he's not. Yeah, he must have retired. Damn, that sucks. Uh, okay, well... I want... Curtis Lazar, but he's probably a second line player. Yeah. Ah, oh, poo, man, this sucks. I guess I'll have to settle with a four star because there's nobody really. Uh, 23, no, he's too good. 28, three and a half star. Wait, who's this guy? No, he's not good enough. Uh, three and a half star, nope. Uh, 82, nope. Three and a half star, nope. No. No, he's too old. I, I obviously want someone who has room for improvement, is cheap. Um, like affordable. Klimchuk, Morgan Klimchuk. Maybe. How good is his face-off? 61. Why are the, all the centermen's face-offs, like, terrible? Horrible, man. Oh, my God. That's so stupid. Uh, McKinnon, obviously, but he's not a good centerman. Um, geez, I just really need a fourth-line center. Nazim Kadri. <laughs> Why are all their face-offs just brutal, man? I want someone with a good face-off rating. There's literally nobody. Lucas Sutter, Schroeder, Thompson. That guy's like 28 too. Brett Thompson. What is his? Why is everyone's? Why is all? Why are all the centers' face-off ratings just garbage? I don't understand. Like, what is going on with that? 68. That's like the best I've seen. Like, do none of these players get better with face-offs? Or does literally just everybody's face-offs not get better? Like, his face-offs is 61. Yeah, I don't understand. I think there's something wrong with the face-offs. Brian Little, but he's a third-line, second-line player. This is kind of weird, man. I don't understand. Maybe I'll have to go with an older player then. Alright, well... I guess we're going with an older player who might actually have face-offs. Uh, 35, stage in. He's too expensive, though. Um, ben Wilson. No. I need someone that's over 30, I think. Bolin's too expensive. Oh, man, this sucks. Dane Fox. I bet his face-off rating sucks. 75, ooh, okay. Dane Fox, I think he's the guy. I think he's our guy, so who is he, Colorado? Dane Fox, okay. Colorado, Dane Fox, trade players. Colorado, that's who we want, Dane Fox. Um, he's all, I don't think he's gonna be worth that much, which is good. Dane Fox, there we go. Colorado, Dane Fox. Um, do we have draft picks we could get rid of? How how much is he worth? Not a lot. I could probably just trade like a second round pick here. Second rounder. That'll go through. Oh really? Wow. Okay. Uh, fourth rounder. Uh, fifth rounder. <laughs> Sixth rounder. Seventh rounder. Okay, how about we take off this and put on a third rounder? Wow, okay. <laughs> Alright then, that's not happening. Okay, um... Uh, meets Colorado needs. Man, look at all our freaking players. <laughs> They're worth so much. Henswick, Hollick, 
I think we could get rid of Holick. 64 overall. Did he even play? 11 points. Three and a half stars. All right, let's trade Holick. I don't like how it does that. Holick. But he, he seems a little bit too good for that trade. Uh, second and Holick. Could we get a first out of that? No. All right, let's go Holick for Holick for Fox straight up. There we go. All right, we got ourselves a third, fourth line center. Roster moves. Um, Kumalainen board, Korpakoski, Fox. Okay, there's Fox. We're going to send out Kumalainen. And hit it lines. Fox. Right there. Now, who's better? Korpakoski is supposed to be a left wing anyways. But his face off is pretty good. So I'm going to keep him second line. Fox can go there. Um... Is there anywhere else I need to fill him? I don't think so. Yeah, no, we're good. Alright, I think that looks pretty solid. Go like that, and I'm just going to stuff in Fitzgerald. Kumalainen could go there. That looks pretty solid. Our, our AHL is pretty looking good. Pretty looking good. Henswick. I just traded him, but he's still on our team apparently. Alright, <clears throat> there we go. So our team should be set. We have a little bit of cap space, but that's not really going to matter. We're not going to really use it, I don't think. And, okay. Alright. Um, I don't think I should have not traded, changed our jersey numbers and stuff. Fox 12. Okay, that's good. Captain, yep. Alright. Lines are good. We did our scouting. All we need to do is the preseason, and we should be good to go. All right, let's give her. Okay, whatever. Our GM rep drops and goes up and go drops. Or sorry, that was Henswick, not Hollick. All right, so we got ourselves a fourth line centerman. Very good. Perfect. We don't want to trade that. I think I might need to just completely get rid of our uh, everything off our trading block because I don't want to just get annoyed with that crap. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm kind of wondering how I should do that, the left wings. I could still rotate Ovechkin. Maybe I'll put, like, I'll do, like, 20 games. So, like, I'll take the, I'll take Doig, who's the left wing on the second line. And I'll put him on the first line. So that'll be, like, a total of 20 games. And then when I rotate them back, I'll put Doig on the third line. And I'll move up that rookie guy onto the second line. And then I'll do that for 20 games and rotate him onto the first line. And then rotate him back down to the third line. Yeah, I'll, maybe I'll do that. I'll rotate the... The left wings like that. Okay. Let's play our first preseason game. Uh, wow, Breeze on Palaces. Fuck bro. There we go. Doherty on the power play. Alright, Doig on the power play. <laughs> I think we should still have quite a bit of firepower. What is going on with our defense? Here? Carlson, wow, this is only the first period, 4 2. My goodness. Wow, Doig on the power play. Oh my god. They don't have a goalie, though, really, so. Wow, Yakupov. <laughs> my goodness. Seven, <laughs> Yakupov on the power play, 7 2. Second period is done. Third period. <laughs> Pollock. <laughs> oh my god. My gosh, this is crazy. Power play? No, nothing. Oh, 9-3 nine, nine, Carlson. Double digits? No, nothing. 9-3. <laughs> Palaces didn't play very well, but that's okay. Wow. 
All right then. So. Whoo! All right. So that's a good, uh, good game one, I guess, for a preseason nine three win. Not gonna complain. I mean, obviously they didn't have their their all stars in there, but Carlson three points, Yakupov five, Stan Doig six points. Oh my god! Wow. Second year, second year player Stan Doig with six points on the night. Oh man, he's fitting well on that second line. <laughs> my goodness. Decline. Doig, my man, what the hell? <laughs> That's ridiculous, man. Ridiculous. David Backies at anti Niamia. Did I say Backies? Well, that's embarrassing. I'd like to see Palazas have a better game. That was a bad game one for him. All right, second game of preseason. All right, come on, Oilers. All right, Lars Ackerman. There we go, rookie. Second period. All right, Stan Doig. Here we go, third goal. Ooh, Fox, there we go. Stan Doig again. My God, Stan Doig, what the hell? Nude, short-handed. <laughs> wow, Korpakoski. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Third period. All right. Look at all the shots too. My goodness. Seven nothing, Nuge. All right, seven nothing. Fifty-one twenty-two were the shots. Second game of preseason. Wow. All right. That was uh, that was something else, wasn't it? That was something else, I'll say. Tell you that. Tell you what. Tell you what. That was something else. That was insane. All right. Good game. Frankie, Nuge, Standoy with another two goals. All right. There we go. So, so far we've scored <laughs> 16 goals in two games. Oh, my God. That'll obviously change into the season just because, um, yeah, like teams will actually have their full lineups and stuff. But, you know what, screw that. We're just going to go with our full lineup in there. Third game of preseason. Here we go. Vancouver Canucks. Let's see what they got. There we go. Murray shorthanded. John Quick, Vancouver's putting up a little bit of a fight here. Schroeder, okay. I think Vancouver's, oh wow, Alex Edler. Wow, Nylander, holy crap. There we go, Vechkin. Alright, we can't lose to Vancouver, guys. That'll be embarrassing. Come on, guys, we're way better than Vancouver. Seriously. There we go, Yakupov. All right. There we go, 4-3 win. All right, not bad, not bad. 34-31. Yeah, I kind of expect a bit more out of Palazes, but you know what? Let's get the cobwebs out right now. Let's not worry about it. Let's not worry about it. I'd like to see how McKinnon does on St. Louis this year. He's going to be their star player, basically. And, like, which, I mean, is kind of, I wouldn't say sad, but, I mean, he's not that great. He's only an 82, and he's a second-line player, but he's gonna, he's their star center, so. Uh, Korpakoski for, no. So, I'd like to see how he turns out. I'm going to watch, watch for him this year. I mean, it kind of sucks when you have guys that kind of get stuck on the third line, even though you know that they're better than that. Um, so hopefully, wow, Gons. Our second line is doing really good. Gons, seven assists. Doig has four goals. I think Yakupov had six or seven assists, too. He's got a couple Gs as well. Um, <laughs> I 
I want to kind of look at points. Yeah, Doig, Yakupov, Gauntz, all with eight points. Or Doig and Yakupov, eight points. Gauntz with seven. Carlson, Ovechkin up there. Yikes. All right, Calgary Flames. We pretty much destroyed them in the last preseason, so um, let's see how this one turns out. All right, Stan Doig. Man, he's going to be hot this year, man. I don't know. John Quick. I don't know if I'm actually going to rotate him at all. He looks good on that line. Like I think he's going to score a lot. I was thinking about rotating him into the third line, but you know what? I stand doing. I think I'm I don't even think I'm going to touch that line. That line is like, oh my goodness, that line is good. That line is going to be so sexy. And you know what? I was thinking about doing the all Russian, all Canadian lines, but I don't think that's going to be possible. Kirk Yandel, first goal, there we go. And, wow, Matt Molson, there we go. All right, whatever, TJ Oshie, that's fine. Ooh, wow, 5-3. All right, 5-3 win, 41-25, we go undefeated in the, pre in the preseason, excuse me. Pretty good. Palazes didn't have the greatest preseason. He let in a few goals, but... Yeah, you know what? I'm not too worried about it. I feel like our team will tighten up a little bit. I mean, obviously, we know we can score. Lars Ackerman with two assists. I think I'm going to keep him on the third line like that. Yeah, so, I mean, Palazes, three goals, zero, three, three. Like, not great, but not bad. You know, like, I'm not, not too concerned. I think that'll be okay. I think that line will work just fine. Um, obviously missing Everly, but I think I think we're gonna do okay. That second line looks absolutely gross. That second line is just putting in work. So, um, yeah. So we'll start the season next time. I know I got a little bit long, but I wanted to actually sim through each game because like our team was just doing dirty, like just absolutely sick. So four and zero to start in the preseason. We'll start the season next uh, next video. Stan Doig looking hot out there. Stan Doig looking absolutely like a beauty. All right. Thanks for watching, guys.